Okay. So this last page in your packet is where we're going to outline or kind of lay out our essay, I guess is a better word for it. So you're going to start out with your thesis statement. And in your thesis statement, you're going to write two sentences. The first one is, a side of encounter is. We're spending our essay answering the question, what made Tenochtitlan a side of encounter? We first need to know what that means. So if we go back up to our very first page, we talked about what that side of encounter means. But essentially, it's where people who from outside the area, from different cultures, come to the place that you're talking about, the site that you're talking about, and they come together and they share their culture. And that culture then is going to spread out or diffuse, cultural diffusion. That culture is then going to spread out to a larger region. In this case, that culture is going to spread out throughout Mesoamerica. So first thing you want to do is describe what is a site of encounter. Now, in our packet, we talked about three different ways that Tenochtitlan became a site of encounter. So our three different ways, let's see, can I put, okay, we're just going to type it right here. So our three different ways that it became a site of encounter, let's see, where do I want to put this, is going to be through trade. through conquest and religion. So for your thesis statement, this is the real thesis statement, you're going to say the Aztec city of Tenochtitlan became a site of encounter because of blank, blank, and blank. So which of these three, trade, conquest, and religion, which of these three do you think had the biggest impact on bringing people to the city of Tenochtitlan? And you're going to put that that biggest one, that most important one, as your first blank. It's either going to be trade, conquest, or religion. And there isn't a right or wrong answer to this. So then you're going to go with your second one. What do you think was the second biggest impact? What do you think brought the, was the second most important thing in bringing people to the city? Trade, conquest, or religion. And that one goes right here. Now, we only have three. So whichever one you haven't used yet is going to go in that last blank. And now you have your thesis statement. So we're going to write our topic sentences first. So topic one or claim one is which one brought the most people. So whatever you put here in this first blank, trade, conquest, religion, you're going to put in this blank. So this one goes right here. And then you're going to explain, why did that bring the most people? Why was that the most important? Then you're going to go to topic two. And again, whatever you put in this second blank, you put in this blank right here. And then tell me why. Why did that thing encourage people to come to the city? And then we've got our third reason. So the th whatever you put on the blank here, trade, conquest, or religion, goes right here. And then explain a little bit why. Okay, so that's the beautiful part. Now you're using everything else you did in your packet to fill this in. So if I said that trade, doesn't have to be trade, but if I said trade was my biggest one, then I'm going to come over here to source number three. And I'm going to write down that this needs to be sentences 10, 11, and 12. Because you'll notice we've already done that. And so these are color coded for you. So you can see the green goes in the green, purple and purple, pink and pink. And this is my source about trade. 10, 11, and 12. 
So I can just go down here and just write the sentence. I don't need to retype it out or anything um, or rewrite it. That's not necessary because I already did that and I know how to find it in my packet now. Okay. So we're saying that this one doesn't have to be keep what you got, but if we're starting with trade, we're going to go trade there. Okay. Then we've got our second one. Say your second one was religion. You only have one source on religion and that is going to be source number four. So again, we've already done the work. We've got 14, 15, 16. Okay. So green, purple, pink, green, purple, pink. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, And that's going to leave us with conquest as our last one. If you did this in any other order, totally fine. So conquest, you get to pick between two. We had two sources on conquest. So you can use source two or you can use source one. If you're looking at your sentences and you're like, these don't look very good, but these are definitely better, then use the better set. So you could use sentences seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so now I've mapped out my essay. I do need a conclusion sentence. So you've got a little sentence starter here, but you're answering this question of, why does it matter that Tenochtitlan was a side of encounter? And you want to use the phrase cultural diffusion. So it was important that Tenochtitlan was a side of encounter because it was a place where cultural diffusion would, and then however you want to finish that sentence. And then... Bam, you're done with your map. 